Hey, good morning everyone, it's Chris Can, and here I am live for Better Together Dorset on this lovely Friday morning and we've got kettlebells and dumbbells this morning. Hope everyone's doing good. Let's give you a few minutes to catch up. Hello, hello, hello. Who's that online? Give me a shout, say hi. Okay, keep coming, keep coming. Good, how's everyone doing this morning? You good? You ready? I am, although um, stupidly, I've got a challenge into doing a uh, 6.5k run, which might not have been the best idea, but hey ho. So we'll get the legs stretched off nicely before we crack on. Morning, everyone. Good to see you. How's everyone doing? You all good? Ready? Give me some love. Um, it's, well, everyone who's been following me for a little while knows that it's kettlebells and dumbbells. Movements today are the best you can. If you've got any health issues that mean that you shouldn't train with weights and you shouldn't train dynamically, then please, please swerve this session and have a look at some of the um, some of the together Dorset website. Um, sorry about the internet. If it's a little bit slow, not working great, I have ordered a new router, so hopefully that will uh, give us a bit of coverage, better coverage for next week. All right, shall we crack on? Are you ready? Morning, Jamie, morning, Leslie. Let's do this, shall we? Okay, so as I just said, I did a, did a big run, well, not a big run, but a run last night, and my hamstrings are super tight. So we're gonna start off. Good morning, Paula. I think you asked me a question the other day and I didn't answer it yet. I will get back to you today, I promise. Um, okay, so we're just gonna start off just by trying to get a little bit of length through those hamstrings. Mine are super, super tight this morning. So toes lifted, heel down to the floor, and just gradually stepping through, just get some warmth into those hammies. Good, all right, maybe just start to go a little bit deeper now. So a lot of the kettlebell stuff that we do do, the hamstrings do get stretched quite a lot. So this is why I'm paying particular attention to getting a bit of length into them now so that we're avoiding risk of injuries. Remember, if you're just coming in now, please, please, please stay safe with training. Don't do anything that you think is beyond you because we all need to come out of lockdown fitter and healthier than we went into it. All right, let's go really deep with it now. Really lengthen those hamstrings just to make sure we're gonna be safe for this nice, energetic, dynamic kettlebell and dumbbell workout. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go high down to low. Good morning, Emma, good morning, Kelly. Okay, so high to low. Breathe out on the way down, in as you come up. Bending your legs. Round out your back a little bit, and let's just get some temperature through the back muscles, the leg muscles, the shoulder muscles. Get your breathing systems working. And get ready to do some proper work this Friday morning. Good, three more. Three, good, okay, hands on the shoulders. Go jerky with it, nice and smooth movement. Morning Tom, how you doing? You're not late, don't worry, you've only just kicked off. Good, no jerky movements, keep it nice and smooth. Two more, and into side bends. Yeah, okay, reach down. Nice and gentle to begin with, and we'll just push the range as we start to go through the warm up. Okay, now start to go down a little bit deeper. Try and get those fingers down a little bit closer to your knees, or maybe even just past them if you can. Ladies at home, I'm sure you're getting a lot deeper than I am with these. 
especially some of you yogis out there. Okay, almost there. Good. Okay, one up, one down. Okay, let's get some real temperature into it now. Swing the arms nice and fast. One up, one back. One up, one back. Let's go. Good. Nice deep breaths. Ten more. Ten, and reach through lunge, right hand goes through, left foot, and we come back, okay, left hand through right foot, nice and slow, trying to open up the hips a little bit, and two more, and one more, good, okay, just shake out nice and loose, I just want to revisit those hamstrings. Let's get nice and deep into it. Make sure we're really ready for this workout this morning because we're going straight in with suitcase deadlifts and another two exercises alongside them. Really deep, last couple. And time, there we go. Shake off nice and loose. How's everyone doing? You okay? Here we go then. So. Number one, suitcase deadlift with the kettlebell. Most of you who've been doing my kettlebell workouts will have seen this one before. So you reach down outside of the right foot. I'll just give you a side demo as well. So you're dropping down there, reaching out to the side. Spine stays in neutral, bum comes out. reaching out to the side, okay? That's your kettlebell deadlift, we do that one on each side. Double-handed shoulder press. If you have kettlebells, I suggest gripping that way. So, overhead press, there. Okay, and then we're gonna go twisting lunges. You can hold either there, there, or if you have dumbbells, there, there, however you want to do it. Whatever you are doing though, please make sure you do not drop anything on your floor or more importantly, your toes. Okay, so we're gonna go into the uh, suitcase deadlift first of all. So ready, remember, center of the knee follows the gap between your second and third toe. So we're keeping the knee in a nice alignment. All right, feet maybe just, just a tiny bit wider than your hips. And up we go, 10 reps. Each side. Eight, nine. Last one, 10, boom, there we go, switch. Almost there. And 10, okay, ready for the shoulder press. In we come, so gripping in there. Try to engage your abdominal muscles so your rib cage doesn't lift too high as you're doing this exercise. So, drive up overhead, 15 reps. Ten lights, last five, let's go a bit slower on these. So one, two, three, four, one left, and five, there we go. And we're gonna go into the kettlebell twisting lunge. So, I didn't really go through that one, did I? I'm gonna step forwards with the left foot, whoa, step forwards with the left foot, and drop down into a lunge, switch, change leg, good, good, eight left,
Almost there. And time, good. Grab yourself a little breather. Good morning, Ella. Okay, everybody, so first set done. Um, just a little note to self and everyone else at home, if you're using a wooden floor, just be careful your feet don't slide out like mine just did. So, just gonna give a quick, quick little wipe there just to make sure that I'm safe. And I'm not gonna end up in a and &E myself. So, shake off nice and loose. I'm just gonna give those hamstrings one more, one more little stretch off. And then I'm gonna jump in with a heavier kettlebell. How's everyone doing at home? Are you there? Are you with me? Let's kick this Friday off properly. Ready, here we go then. Come on Friday morning crew, let's do this. Suitcase deadlift, 10 aside. Ready, 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 and go. Halfway. Nine, last one. Ten, change sides. One. Breathing out on the way down, in as you come back up. Good work. Two more. And ten, there we go. Okay. Let's have a crack at these shoulder presses. Make sure your kettlebell is not slippery like mine is. And here we go. Overhead. Core held nice and tight. Try and avoid that rib cage lifting. Hold on to the top abdominals. Keep those elbows in as much as you can. Good. Nice work, gang. Keep going. I make that ten. Five to go. Two more. Last one. Last one. Boom. There we go. I'm just going to switch to a light kettlebell and I am going to give it a quick wipe. Just for health and safety. Might have been out in the shed overnight. Well, in fact, since last Friday. Okay, so off we go. Alternating rotational lunges. Little tip, twist towards your front leg. And we're doing 20 reps. Or wherever you can get to. Good, eight to go, come on, stay with me. Nice work at home, stick in there. Good, five more. Three, two, last one. And time, good. Nice deep breaths. Okay, how's everyone doing, you okay? A bit quiet this morning, what's going on? Is the lockdown novelty wearing off? Hope not. Let's try and go out fitter than we started. All right, gang, short little break. One round left. Deep breaths, remember, stay hydrated, but little sips, don't take big gulps, you don't want it to rattle around in your tummy when you're doing these exercises. And suitcase deadlift first. Remember, knees tracking in between the second and third toe. And off we go. Actually, do you know what? Let's start with the other hand this time. Let's go left hand first. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Give those glutes 
a big squeeze as you're pushing the hips forwards. Three left, two left, one more. There we go, switch over. Here it comes, down, squeeze the glutes as you push through, forwards. Good, remember where the knees are supposed to be tracking, right in between the second and third toe. Two more. Nice, good. Okay, just a quick little wipe down. I do not want this 20 landed on my head, do I? Or even worse, my floor. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good work, come on. 10 left, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, five to go. Come on. One, two, feel those shoulders. Three, good work. Four, last one. And five, there it is. Good, down with that one. Ready for the twisting lunges. Here we go. Straight in, no break. One, two, three. Four, remember, twist towards the front leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five left. Eighteen, nineteen. Last one. Boom, there it is. Good, well done. Breathe for me. Good morning, Louise. Are you in? You got your my zone belt on? Hope so. <sighs> Derek, that is not the not the spell. A kneel to stand, and then straight into a windmill. After you've done your kneel to stand, so you've gone from there with your weight held there. We're up. Okay. You're then going to take your weight there, push it overhead, reach down through the middle, look at the top hand, bring it back down, kneel again. Switch, take dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever, overhead, reach down into the into stand, looking up towards the ceiling. If you do this without weights, it's still a great movement to do, so you're still going to get plenty of benefit from it. So, ready, here we go. Down into kneeling. So we're going to start. Kneel to stand. Upright row with the kettlebell. Push it overhead. Down through the middle. Look at the top hand. Bring it back and down. Kneel to stand. Push overhead. Windmill. Good. Down. Kneel to stand. Overhead, down into that windmill, looking at the top hand. Good. Kneel again. Kneel to stand. Upright row. Kettlebell overhead. Reaching down through the middle. Nice complex movement. Changing arms. Kneel to stand. Over the head. Push up. Windmill. There we go. Let's try hands. Kneel. Stand up. Overhead, down through the middle. There, we got four left, come on. Switch hands. Into the stand and overhead. Windmill. Three to go, come on gang. Change that hand. You could rack the Stand, over the head. Reach down through. Very nice, two left. Change hands, last two, come on. Got the kettlebell on the shoulder. Up, up, over. One more windmill, come on. Overhead, and reach down through. Boom, there we go. Set one, windmill's done. With that kneel to get up. Okay, shake off. Ready? Let's kick on these again then. 
going to change for a slightly heavier dumbbell on this one. Below the shoulder, probably the easiest way to do this one. Kneel to stand, overhead, down through the middle, sticking your hip out and down. Change the dumbbell, kneel to stand, push overhead, down, look up, nice. Change over, then drop down. Good, kneel to stand, overhead, windmill. Nice, good. All right. Boom, come on. Down again, let's get this done, come on. Two more. All the way down, last one. Up we go, kneel to stand, overhead. Reach down for that windmill, looking at the top hand, sticking the hip out. Good job, well done. Breathe, one more set. Ah. <sighs> 20 seconds more. I'm working hard this morning, hope you're working hard with me as well. Ready, let's get these kneel to stand with the windmills done. You're joining me on it, but if you can't complete the whole movement, just do whatever you can. Dumbbell or kettlebell up to shoulder height. Stand, press, windmill there. Good, drop down, change. Overhead, down through the middle with that windmill, nice. Six reps left. Change the hand again, good, four left. Good, three to go. Nearly there now. Last two. Final one. Here we go, last chance. Nice job, well done. Good. And breathe. Take yourselves a drink. Are you using the internet? On your phone, can you not? If you are, please. Thanks. Yeah, turn, turn it off. Okay. So next, we're gonna need to lie down. We're going to select a weight, so we're going to do flies on your back. So whatever weight you want to use is good by me. Can you see me there? Yeah, I can see you, so you must be able to see me. So, we're coming down, elbows slightly bent, down towards the floor, single arm, pop your other arm out to add some balance if you need to. Try and engage your core muscles, particularly on the opposite side to where the dumbbell is. Okay, that's exercise one. And exercise two is a single arm bent over row. Pretty sure most of you would have done this one with me before. So, bum stuck out, chin down, pull it through there. Okay, ready, select your weights. A little bit heavier here. All right, here we go crew. Just dry your hands, dry your kettlebells. Remember, we don't want any mishaps. Here we go then. So, single arm, fly. You may find it easier with both legs bent, or you may not. Or you may find it easier with your left leg out straight and your right leg bent and your left hand out. Just to give you a bit of counterbalance. Two more. Good, one more. Nice, just a quick point on these. So what you're thinking about is the chest muscles 
pulling the weight back in from the center of your chest here. So all these muscles across your pec here are pulling your arm back in. Okay, so let's go. Let's do that other side. Core engaged, nice and tight. Make sure you're not going to hit anything on the way down. Good. Let's pop that arm out if you need to. If you want to make it a little bit harder, bring the arm in. Feel the core engagement a little bit more there as that weight tries to pull you away from your line of balance. Two more. Last one. And there we go. Good. All right. So we're going to go into that single arm bent over row. Here we go. Grab your weight. Make sure it's dry. Make sure it's not going to fall out of your hand. Left foot forwards. Left hand on left knee. Spine in neutral still. Pull through. Ten reps. Three. Four. Good. Stay with me. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. So you're just on this one, you're trying to bring your elbow through so it would touch the top of your pelvis right there. And it's right and close there, okay? Other arm, so right foot forwards, right hand on right knee, spine stays neutral, pull through, elbow, aiming to come past the top of the pelvis there. Keeping it right and close to the side of your body. Two more. And time, well done. Good, set one done, we've got two left. Here we go. Do you know what, we'll take 20 more seconds, then we're back in. How's everyone doing? You've got 10, sec 10 seconds to talk to me if you want to. So, again, try and engage the core muscles to stop your body from being dragged over by that kettlebell or dumbbell or whatever it is you're using, okay? You get a lot of abdominal benefit from this exercise as well as chest and shoulder, okay? So back on the uh, pec fly. So grab your weight, we'll start with the left hand this time. So whatever you need to do, ready, back on the floor, down into position, and let's go. 10 flies, nice and controlled please. Good. Remember those pec fibers pulling back into the mid midline. Abdominals engaged, belly button drawn in. Just a little bit as if someone was going to punch you in the tummy. So you. And let's go. Good. Remember, engage your abdominals. Try to stop yourself from tipping over. Try and keep both shoulders on the floor, both hips on the floor, and engage the abdominals to avoid that twisting force or counteract that twisting force. Halfway. Two more. Stay with it. Last one. There we go, very good. Okay, now we're going to go in to the single arm row. Start with the right arm this time. Remember, pulling the elbow through, level with the top of the pelvis there. Here we go. Three, again, abs engaged, as if someone was running towards you and going to punch you in the tummy. Seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, ten, very good, switch it up, good morning, come on, come on, come on, elbow in, tight to the side of the body, almost there, eight, good job, well done, well done. Breathe nice and deeply. Here we go. We've got one more. 
Let's take 30 seconds off. Anyone got anything to say? How are you feeling? Are your muscles working? Mine certainly are. I hope yours are too. Right, ready in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go then. Right arm first. Here it comes. Whoa. Try and keep the shoulders and hips down. Last two for me. Last one, last one, last one, come on. And side, switch over. Just dry the hands off a little bit. Okay, here we go. Last time. One, two, three, four. Halfway, come on. Let's work those shoulders, those pecs, those obliques. Four left. Three. Two. One left. There we go, nice job, good. Nice little firm up for the pecs and the shoulders. Board of lockdown, really? No, never. I don't believe you. Okay. Right arm first, here we go, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, halfway, come on gang. Six, seven, eight, nine, last time, last time. 10, whoa, that was hard. Here we go, other one, come on. Halfway. Eight, two more. Nine, ten. Excellent, well done. Ready for the next block. <sighs> Jamie. You should be enjoying this extra time to work out and not have to rush off to the uh, the fitness club to have your showers. Louise, how can you be bored of lockdown? You're working out more than anyone I think I've ever seen. Keep it up, good work. Right, here we go, hey, well done Jamie, thank you. All right, next, something nice and heavy. Do kettlebell swings, and then upright rows straight afterwards. Again, please just give your kit a little wipe down. Don't want any injuries here. Okay, ready, so kettlebell swings, here we go. Remember, it's a hip hinge we're looking for, not a squat. So down through the legs, use the energy from your glutes and hamstrings to raise the weight. Good. 10 there, in two, upright row. Elbows want to be the highest part of the arm on this movement. Hands just come to chest level. Let's go two more, come on, you can do it. Talking to myself then as much as you guys. <sighs> so a little quick mop up. Short breaks is what we're all about. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ready to hit it again in just a second or two. <sighs> What's everyone got planned today? Anything exciting going on? Outdoor walks, outdoor runs, a bit of play in the garden or on the balcony if you're lucky enough to have one. Hope everyone's good, hope you're all staying safe. Let's get this next one done. 
Swings, remember, emphasize the hip hinge and emphasize the glute involvement as you come back through there. Ready, 10, good swings. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Elbows just ever so, slow, ever so slightly bent. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And ten. Good. Back in for those upright rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Halfway. Seven, eight, nine. 10, two left, two left, 11, and 12. Excellent job, good work. And breathe. Well done. Oops, hair's gone a little bit, something, uh, hair's gone a little bit like there's the film Something About Mary hair. But hey, there you go. Right, I'm sorry. One more set of these. And then we've got two blocks left. And then some abs. Right, ready, Friday crew, let's do it. Last set of kettlebell swings. Here we go, ready. Six, seven, two more. Eight, nine, last one. Ten, good. Let's go up right rows, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 to go, boom, there we go, and that's another block done, well done, flying through things today. All right, let's take, talk you through the next ones. So, around the world, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the 12 for this one. I'll give it a little wipe first. So, the around the world, you're grabbing your kettlebell, your dumbbell, whatever it is. Start at the bottom, up, over your head, down to the bottom, back round, and keep changing like so. And then our other exercise, Use whatever weight you've got that's appropriate. Is a cross body bicep curl there. Uh, back in the old school training days, when I was a trainer at, um, at Fitness First, we used to talk about that cross body curl being a girth builder for the bicep. So uh, anyone who wants to get a bit of girth on the bicep, that's We've got the, the round the world. Again, make sure the bell or the bar or whatever it is you're lifting is nice and dry. If I'm kettlebell, I tend to go for that grip. We have 10 reps then. Two, three, four. I've changed my grip on the kettlebell because it's a bit too slippery for me. Halfway. See. Seven, eight, nine. Last one. Good, good, good. Just giving the bell a little wipe on my hands. <laughs> Thought you might pick up on that one, Jamie. Okay, ready. Cross the body curl. So what we're aiming to do, keep the palm facing inwards at all times there. Up towards your opposite shoulder. Right, let's do this. And off we go. One more. And change. Careful you don't drop it as you transition. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. There we go. If you've got something a little bit lighter, carry on, carry on. It's cool. 
Leslie, well done. Hope you enjoy later on. I'm hoping that a lot of people have got up late this morning and they'll all be joining later. Ready, here we go. Round the world again then. Let's do this. Ten of the best. Down. Over the top. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Cracking stuff. Give that kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever it is you've got, a little wipe. And leave with the left arm first. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Change over, let's go. Nice and strong to finish this workout, come on. We're almost there now. Yes, good. 20 or 30 seconds off. Deep breaths in through the nose, out again through the mouth. Nice work everyone, good sweat on this morning. Hope you're still with me. If you're not, join in later. Catch up, whatever you need to do. Ready, last one of Round the Worlds. Here it comes. Busy, 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 let's go. One, two, three, four, nice work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. Quick little dry off. Right arm first, here we go, let's try and get eight this time. Two more, two more, two more, come on. Seven, last one. Eight, there we go, switch. One, two, don't rush. Three, four, five, three left, come on, you with me. Two left, one more. Boom, well done. Good, next series then. So we're gonna go for a single arm lap raise. Uh, I've got an eight, which I'm gonna use for that. And a tricep extension. You can do it single kettlebell. With a grip like that. Elbows in. There, elbows in, okay or just holding onto the handles of your kettlebell. Um, if you haven't got enough weight, what you could do is you could do one arm. So as we do this one, as the elbow raises, the thumb rotates down a little bit, okay? So as you come up, the arm turns in the shoulder socket, and what you do there is you work this middle portion of the shoulder muscle quite hard. All right, so ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, two to go, come on. Seven, one more, and eight, good. Switchy switch, other arm. One, two, good. Three, four, nice, five, six, seven, last one, eight, good. Just give that one a little wipe, and if you're changing onto a different one, give that a wipe and your hands. Okay, here we go, overhead press. Oh, sorry, overhead tricep extension. Elbows in, abs switched on as if someone's gonna punch you in the tummy.
three more. Last one. Ah, great job, well done. Set one, done and out of the way. Good, breathe. 20 seconds-ish. All right, here we go, lat raise again. Mira, good morning, nice to see you, hope you're doing well. You're a bit late though. Okay, left arm first. Ready, here we go. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, two more. Seven, last one. And eight. But if you are late, remember you can always catch up. This whole workout's recorded and you can do it at any time you like. Good, halfway, come on. Five, six, two left. Seven, come on. Eight, good work on the lap raise. Quick dry on the hands, quick dry on the kettlebell. Ready for those triceps extensions. Try to get 10. Abdominal tension. Switch them on. Try and avoid lifting the ribcage too much. Halfway. Six. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one. Wait, well done. One left, then we're hitting some abs. Good. Little towel off. How's everyone doing? Have we got your muscles pumping for a Friday? I hope so. Mine certainly are. If you've been joining in, if you've not got heavy enough weights, or you're not doing it all. But well done if you're with me. We got one more set, let's do it. Right now, right arm first. Here we go. One, two, three, good, come on. Four, five, three left. Six, seven, one more, one more, one more. Eight, good, switch over. One. Two, remember that arm is turning, thumbs coming around and slightly downwards, halfway, six, seven, one more, eight, good job, ready for the triceps, just got to give my weight a little wipe before we do it, and my hands, all right, here we go, last time, triceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, four, three, two more, one more, way, well done. So guys, other than the calf muscles, can anyone think of anything that we've not really Morning. Hopefully, we've hit most things pretty hard. What we're going to do now is we're going to do some ab exercises. So, join me down on the floor, grab your mat, get plenty of space. So, I hope I have enough space for this. I'll try my best. So we are going to do a windscreen wiper, legs go up there, arms out into a crucifix position, I hope you can see me, I can just about see you, so arms out, if you want to do an easier version, legs bent, hips bent to 90 degrees there, okay, down, use the muscles on the opposite side to where the legs go. So try and pull yourself back over, okay? I'm going to do these straight legs, or as straight as my tight hamstrings will allow, and we do 10 reps. Okay, we're gonna go straight into 
Bicycle crunches. Opposite elbow to knee. The elbow that's not on the knee is coming right down towards the floor. Ten more. And time. Nice. One more set. Just gonna grab a little glug of water. We're nearly there, nearly there. The ultimate set done. Windscreen wipers first. Bent legs if you need the easier option, remember. So, arms down, and off we go. Muscles on the opposite side to your legs, engaging to pull yourself back over. Bicycle crunches, ready, ready, 40. Well done everyone, great stuff. Ah, yes, Jamie, serious sweat on there. Maria, good morning. Shane, good morning. Ah, proper workout this morning. Let's get it finished, last one. Here it comes. Ready. My little dog's just uh, decided to come in, so if he jumps on top of me in a minute, we'll have to save this one for the bloopers. All right, ready, here we go. Down. And 40 bicycle crunches to finish off. that's your, your abs and your obliques, certainly has done mine. Right, final exercise, let's get all the back muscles fired up, I'm just going to have to turn the mat on a slight angle, kneeling supermans to finish off. So here we go, left leg out, right arm up, hold your hips and your shoulders level, Hold for about 10, keep breathing, and change. And change, great work. Two more on each side. And change. Last two. And switch. Last one. And time. Well done. Shake off nice and loose. Now let's give the abs a nice little stretch off. Drop down. Hips into the mat. Keep your chin tucked in. Come into the hip flexor stretch. So roll the pelvis, push forwards a little bit, feel some tension down across the hip joint here, hopefully coming up here a bit as well. Good. 
reach over the top and pointing towards the front leg. Stretching down the side here, nice and deep in there. And switch over. Good work, other side then. Step forwards, roll the pelvis that little bit, pushing forwards. Just wait a few seconds, feel the stretch start to come in. Maybe push that a little bit further forwards, reaching over the top. Reach over that little bit more. Three, two, one, good job. All right, let's come down. Reach forwards. You don't have to grab the toes on this, we're just reaching forwards, down the shins, stretching off the hamstrings a little bit. Good, right leg over left, and pull the knee in towards the shoulder, and look over the right shoulder. Well done, switch over, good, there we go, left leg over right, looking over the left shoulder, good, soles and feet together, gently pushing down, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, thank you very much for joining me, the stretch isn't over yet, but I do have a little bit of a favour to ask, um, if you like the workouts, if you're enjoying them, if I'm helping you stay fit and all the other Better Together Dorset crew are, please, please, please share what we're doing. Let your friends know all about it. We're here to help you, uh, but it's nice to know that you're enjoying what we're doing. So thank you very much. Just give a little stretch down a little bit deeper there. And we're going to give the hamstrings one last stretch. Coming onto the back. Here. Leg up. Gently pull down. I put my hands above the knee. Trying to straighten the knee out as much as you possibly can. And then pull that knee into your chest. Good. Change it over. And then pull the knee into the chest. Good, up we come, let's go for some upper body stretches. So, give the hands a little wipe off, up above the head, nice deep breaths. Deep breaths. Good. And tricep stretch there. And switch over. Well done everyone, if you're chipping off a little bit early, thank you so much for joining. Please, please, please share this with your friends. Let's get it out there, let's get as many people as we can fit in lockdown. Stretch on the forearms and the biceps there. Good. And change. Good, shake off, nice and loose. Everybody, well done. Thank you very much. Big Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe in lockdown. Love you lots. See you next time. Bye-bye.